merch, man. It's just merch. It's just merch. Ah, it's just merch. Guys, this merch is so good, it should be illegal. Go shop at BigBearWeatherAndMore.com to get yours. Well, good, beautiful morning to everybody. It's April 6, 2024. And wow, this is the aftermath of this beautiful snowstorm. And I hope all that, that, that mist stays on the lake right there for when we go around the lake. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. How's everyone doing today? I am exhausted. Exhausted. It's, it's colder than it says right now. It's colder than that. <coughs> I guarantee you. But it's 6.30 in the morning. Yeah, see, it's, it's, it's getting colder. I bet it's close to 10 degrees right now. This is probably like the coldest morning that we've had all season almost. This is just unbelievable. But yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. Again, this is the aftermath video. Even though it looks like straight ahead, we could be driving into a little bit of snow. I don't know if you guys can see that gray in your horizon. Very interested to see how much snow we have at the Big Bear Dam compared to the complete opposite side of town today. Wow, look at how cool that looks. We are coming into that cloud quickly. BigBearWeatherAndMore.com Help support your boy Who puts in a lot of effort into this Thanks guys, I appreciate it You, you guys do support me a lot, I appreciate it And there's other ways to show, show Love and support in the description of the videos There's ways you can donate To the channel as well every, 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 Everything helps you guys It really does So thank you, thank you, thank you into that cloud right there. I'm excited. I really 
didn't know if I was going to be able to get up for this. Of course, I'll do the aftermath, but why it's important to do it this early with a storm like this is because today we're supposed to get above freezing, right? And I don't want this place to look any different <coughs> than it does right now for the aftermath video. Therefore, I had to get up and get out early, early, early. And also, don't forget, guys, for your ski and snowboard rental needs, go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. I have all their information on the description and the comment section of this and every video. They have the best equipment, top of the line equipment, best, most knowledgeable staff. They, all they want is for you to have a great time. Um, and when it comes to being extremely knowledgeable, it helps keep you safe out there too. They know what they're doing. <laughs> I know you guys will be very, very pleased with your services that they provide for you there. So going to get boards on Big Bear Boulevard, it's one block and two blocks away from, from the village. Right there on Big Bear Boulevard, they have a snowboard shop and a ski shop. And if you want to save money on your lift ticket, go to getboards.com and purchase your ticket 72 hours in advance of when you plan on going to ski, and you will save a pretty penny. Is 
so intensely pretty, guys. How amazing is that? I mean, look at that. You can just go home now. This is plenty. This is all the beauty we need for the day, man.
may not end up turning out too good. Why that's a problem, you guys, is when you roll down your windows, when it's, the temperature's this cold, you can damage all the electrical stuff. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I cannot believe this view. It's not fair. What you guys are hearing are my tires rubbing against my like quarter panel and my fender, I believe, because of all the snow that's caked up in between. Oh my goodness. Gracious, great balls of fire. Look at the lake.
guys, there's no one behind us, so we're not holding up any traffic at all. We're just getting the most beautiful views. This is a very rare sight, what we're seeing right now. Typically, we'll get stuff similar to this at the beginning of the season. And of course, I guess now, towards the end of the season, when we get some really cold, cold temperatures over a much warmer lake. But it is absolutely spectaculoso. 18 degrees now. I don't know if you guys can see. Woo! Cause it is beautiful in every single way. These guys are fishing, it's like 17 degrees outside. What is their deal? You gotta admire people like that who love what they do, love their passion like that, just like I love mine. Oh my gosh, this guy's house right here has the best view. Look at that. I mean, come on now. Come on now, guys. Can you believe that? Can you really believe that? Oh, so beautiful. Oh. Back down to 15 degrees. So we got up to 18 there for a second. Flush wait now it's 14 degrees, sir. Boom, shakalaka. My ambient temperature gauge is going crazy right now. I just can't believe what's happening. April 6th, 13 now. Dropping, dropping, dropping. Come on, look, we might as well get down to 12 now. Show me some love, Mr. Oh, 12. Maybe we'll hit that 10 degree mark like I was hoping we would hit on this drive. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, let's go down to 11. Give me 11. Does the survey say 11? The survey says 11. One more, we can do this. We can do this. Come on, baby. Yeah, you know what, we're gonna keep this back here like this. Hopefully it'll just go down to 10 right here. Yes, we made it, guys. Now let's go to single digits. <laughs> Let's do it. Come on, single digits, baby. Let's do it. Come on, man. <laughs> We're at the tributary now. Oh, there's a car finally behind us. But here's the tributary. We're going to pull over to let this car by. Come on, one more degree, please. Please give me single digits, please. I know I'm asking too much now, but please. Just please, nine degrees, come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, you can do this. No, there's no one behind us again, come on. Come on. Just one more degree, please. Mother Nature, you know I'm so consistent at, at what I do. Even if it's for a split second, show me, show me nine, please. Survey says, come on, give me nine. We're losing our chance. Oh, please, give me, give me some nines here. Show me some nines, baby. I beg you to just please give me, give me a little bit of nine. Just one nine, real quick. Come on, before the sun starts poking through over here. Come on! You can do this. Come on, Mother Nature. I worked so hard at this. That would make my morning if we could see single digits right now, please. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen right here. 
Guys, I know I'm, I'm, I'm annoying, but I'm trying to coax this into going down to nine for us. I don't know why it's so difficult to show me extra love like that, but come on, man. If it goes to 11, then we're pretty much ooze grade. As far as I'm, I'm concerned, well, I guess it wouldn't be a total fail because I said it felt like 10 degrees when I got out of my house this morning and now it's, it's, it's reflecting that. But we want nine degrees. Come on, please. Pretty please. With a big bear on top. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Give me some dough. top 10 aftermath videos that I've done this whole nine years that I've lived here. Keep in mind, there's a lot of aftermath videos because there's just a lot of storms up here. But I am getting frustrated with uh, Mother Nature playing with me right now. She's just playing with me. Treating me like a, like a little bee. Okay, come on, baby. second to my wife. I hope that doesn't make you go up to 11, but I just got to be honest. Other than that, I mean, you are the best of the best of the best. Nothing. Nothing compares. Nothing compares to you. ourselves one more chance to stay in a little bit of a shadier part so we're going to take North Shore Lane right here turn right here and take this shortcut next to uh, our biggest uh, camping area Serrano Campgrounds and this is where the observatory is the solar observatory Just one degree. How much do I have to beg? This is pathetic. Mother Nature, you're making me embarrass myself in, in front of all my family on this channel. And it's not right. There's the observatory. Oh, boom, there it is. There it was. Sorry, we kind of flew by. I don't think Mother Nature is going to show us the love. I mean, just one degree for Pete's sake, man. Why is it so important to me? 
I don't know. Oh man, you SOB. Mother Nature, I take back all my kind compliments. You're the complete opposite of everything I said. You are not the nicest person in the world. You give me such a hard time. I do my best on this channel. You make it hard for me. She's probably going to say, oh, oh yeah. And she's probably going to jump up to like 16 or 17 degrees. Just by the time we get to Stanford Cutoff over here. Yeah, she's just not, not cool. Mother Nature, you heard me. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about that? That's what I thought. Nothing. She could send me off the road, but I don't think she'll take it that personally. She better not, because that would not be cool. Yeah, mama's We're gonna wait for this jacket ape to get going here. And we'll be able to putt putt slowly right behind him as he's putt putting slowly right in front of us. The sun straight front of us. 11 degrees, 703, April 6th. Can you agree? Okay, you know what? I think I can turn this defroster down a little bit. It's not like we're going to be defrosting single single numbered temperatures right now this mother nature you're such a you know what I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna talk smack as much as I want it not gonna do it not gonna do it wouldn't be prudent not at this juncture oh it just went up to 12 and jumped right back down to 11 <laughs> she's messing with me <laughs> oh it just did it again it went bing bing I can't believe she's doing this. She's totally messing with us. I get literally went up to 12 and I didn't even have time to like say anything before it jumped back down to 11. Maybe it'll jump back down to 10 and just play with us some more. I'm not a fan. I am not a fan. Oh, it's about to get bright, guys. It's about to get bright up at this beat. She's so beautiful. Mother Nature, you really are gorgeous. Forgive me for being such a pain and the annoying butt, but I am. I don't know what to tell you. I'm a butt pain. Butt pain. Come on, please. 
please. All right, guys, I have my, my finger crossed. Both of my toes, both my toes are crossed. Come on, baby, show me some love. Show me some nine degree weather. Show me some nine degree weather, baby. Come on. expecting her to jump back down to 10 especially as the Sun is rising and getting higher up in the sky so that was so unexpected mother nature I do take back all my negativity and my anger please just one time baby one time baby again that sound you're hearing is my tires rubbing against everything and it, oh man come on bro sometimes Baldwin can be significantly colder guys so I'm just hoping even though it's clear blue skies over there not a cloud in the sky I'm, I'm hoping we'll have some colder temperatures but we need to go we need to get over there and it'll be tough behind this turtle right here. Turtle man. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Back down to 10. Okay, I have a feeling this time, in this shade right here, we're gonna get lucky. Come on, baby, please. Please. Now we're getting back into the sunny, sunny part of town here. Oh my gosh, come on, please. She's playing with me right now, guys. <laughs> I don't find it too funny, but it is pretty funny. <laughs> okay, the shady part right here, please. Come on. I will be snapping the phone over here so you guys can see. Come on, nine. Nine? Give me nine. Nine degrees, nine. Hello, nine. I love you so much. 
gosh, you are such an amazing woman. Please, you are just the most amazing ever. What if I tell you you're just as beautiful as my beautiful wife? Will that get me any extra love? Come on. Oh, come on, Mother Nature.
jumped up to 13. It didn't even hit 12. It just said 13. You got a problem with that? And yeah, my response is yeah, I got a huge problem with that. If if you were a if you were a man, I'd get out of the car and open a can of whoop but all over you. How dare you just rub it in like that? Not not even going to 12, just saying 11 to 13. That's ridiculous. Twelve. Now it's twelve. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Keep falling. As I said, look, it's twelve. Again, there's no one behind us, so we can play around like this a little bit. Take our sweet time and hopefully see what we try. What what we're trying to see here. <laughs> wow, that's just sounds like a spaceship. But that's like my tires rubbing, rubbing against the inside of the car. I don't know how to describe it. I might go to the car wash once it gets up to about 20 degrees. Our car wash water is warm water and I can uh, just rinse all this stuff out in between my, my tires. I think that's what I'm gonna do once we're done with this beautiful ride. Actually, no, I'm not, because I didn't bring my darn wallet. Unbelievable. Which means I don't have my ID on me. Um, it's 11, it's 11, guys. Temperature drop back down. Come on, baby. As we come into Baldwin over here, let's get lucky. I know it's gonna get back down to 10 real quick. Guys, I know I'm being so annoying. I'm not trying to, but I know this is super annoying. I just hope that you guys are in my corner here trying to fight for your right to nine degrees. Do, 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 do. You gotta fight for your right for nine degrees. Do, 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 do. Driving down the street in Big Bear, California. Du, 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 du. It's so damn cold, I don't know, it's gonna freeze you. Du, 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 du. I'm gonna just open the car door right now and let in some cool air. It is mighty hot in here. I don't want to roll down my window, as I said, That's that, that could be a problem. Oh, that air feels so good. Oh, lovely. All right, here's our next shot. You see this shady area right here? This is our next shot. So I think we're gonna maybe, come on, here, we're gonna go super slow right here. We're gonna go super duper slow. Skip 12. Yeah, I think we're a SOL, y'all. But you know what I think we're, we're gonna do to make sure we hit single digits? We're gonna drive up to Onyx Summit. I know that's kind of cheating, but we're gonna do it. I don't care what anybody says, we're going to Onyx Summit to experience the single digit temperatures. I didn't even know this was going to be a mission today.
but it's aftermath video, why not, I say. I think the view driving back down from Onyx over this whole entire valley is gonna be something, something to write home about, guys. It's gonna be pretty, pretty epic. This whole video is gonna be pretty epic. We've already been going for 50 minutes. I think we're about halfway through what I, what my goal is on this video, so. We still have quite a bit to go. Oh my gosh. Oh my beauty. Alright, we're in some shady spots now. We could drop back down to 12 or 11. And if we do, that's just Mother Nature just laughing at me, playing with me, telling me I'm such a Barney. cold do you think we're gonna get up at onyx summit guys if we can get there quickly before the sun really starts it's radiational heating i think we could get down to like seven degrees six degrees seven degrees so we're gonna try our best to see what we can do we're still at lucky number 13 degrees because it's so foggy on this side of my window. Not much I can really do about it. Because we can't roll down the window. Now it's 12 degrees. There is another shady area over here. So hopefully we will drop. We're almost to the shady area, so I'm gonna try to get there a little quicker and then go slow through the whole shady part right up against this mountainside. Let's drop, baby. Let's drop. The rest of this drive through most of Baldwin is going to be shady, so it's, it's going to be nice. Another great opportunity. I do not see anybody behind us, so we're good on that. Remember, guys, I'm, I don't like being that guy who holds people up. So it, oh, 11, 11, okay, come on. We're going in the right direction and we're not even in the full shade yet. Come on, baby. Come on, slow it, slow it down, big man, slow it down. Here we go. This is the area. If it happens, it's gonna happen right through here. Otherwise, we are gonna have to wait until uh, Onyx. And my luck, it, it, it won't even be cold up there but it will be. Okay, here's some serious shade right here. Come on, baby. Let me open my door a little bit once again to get that nice cool air in. Defrost the window. Come on, baby, get down to 10. Give me a tenner. It jumped up from 11 to 13. No 12 again. I don't know what's up with not 
not hitting 12, but I'm very frustrated about it. It's not right. I don't know why this car is discriminating against 12, but it's not right. It's really not. It's BS. Here's another chance. Temperatures, come on, fall, baby. Do you need to fall? Do you need to fall? Do you need to fall, my friend, right now? If you fall down to 9 degrees, I'll be the happiest man around. Show me some love. Show me some love. Show me some love, 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 love. Ring, ding, 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 ding. Maybe we'll get lucky and see some 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 jackasses, aka donkeys. They are so cute, you guys. They are so adorable up here. All right, 13 degrees, a bright, beautiful, sunny day. As I told you, it'd be clear skies over here. No question about it. Over on my side of town, of course, it's cloudy. Cloudy, bowdy, bow, bowdy, banana, nana, fo, bowdy, cloudy. All right, here's a big cloud. I hope he sees me. Thank you, sir. 12 degrees. Finally, stopped discriminating, but we went down to 12. Eleven. It's eleven now, guys. It's eleven. <laughs> Come on, baby, come on, baby. The fact that you dropped so fast like that shows me that 10's not out of the question. So let's do 10. Oh, it's 10, 10. Guys, fingers crossed, come on. Come on, come on, baby, come on. Nine, give me nine, give me nine. Come on, baby, just one more degree. I feel it. It's, I feel it's gonna happen. I feel this is gonna happen for us right here, guys. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, come on, baby. Well, we're on Highway 38 now, and the if we stay straight, we're on Highway 18. We're just gonna sit here for a second. Maybe this will drop down to nine. I'll give it 10 seconds because there's no one behind us. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 9. Well, whatever. We're going to go left here. We're going up to Onyx Summit. Because we're going to smash that 10. We might hit nine before we even get up there, which that's that's the goal. I want to hit nine degrees in the valley. And this might be the spot right here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ugh. How crazy is that? How much she's mocking me right now. I am being mocked. There's going to be a couple more little strips along this part of Highway 38 where it's going to be shady, where we, we could have a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. That's what I just said. Oh my gosh. 
All right, this this next little spot. Come on, stay at 10. Do not warm up. Oh, just jump to 12. I cannot believe you. I cannot believe you. This is the spot where I thought we could drop down. But of course, it's uh It's mother nature. She's a pain in my butt. She's playing with me big time right now. She is so not cool. Thirteen degrees. How dare you? You son of a twelve degrees. Drop back down to twelve. Come on, let's get back down to eleven. <laughs> Guys, this is crazy. There's no one behind us. So that's is good. That's is good. start our ascent right past this street well, our slow ascension up to beautiful beautiful gorgeous onyx summit I'm sure you guys are believing me when 
but I'm telling you the temperature's changing and my arms getting tired from the constant adjustments so just bear with me real quick 13 degrees on beautiful highway 38 As I said, there's absolutely no one behind us. 14 degrees. I'm just gonna show you anyway so you can see. It's just jumping like crazy. I can't wait till we're driving down to have that sun behind us because this is this is just too bright, man. 15. And some views are gonna start popping their their beautiful heads here in just a moment. Yeah, 16 degrees, 17 degrees. <laughs> what is going on here? What is going on here? 16 degrees now. 17 degrees now. I mean, seriously, what is your deal? Besides showing me beautiful views. 18 degrees. I'm really just flabbergasted right now. I'm still thinking it's 19 degrees now. I'm not kidding, guys. Look at that. I'm still thinking we will get lucky, though. And the temperatures will start to do what they're supposed to do up here, which is get colder. You better not show me 20 degrees. You better not show me 20 degrees. That's just wrong. That is not fair. That is not right. If you do. Oh, of course it does. No problem giving me 20, but when I want 9, no. No 9 for you. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 21 now. No joke, guys. 21. I can't believe this. <laughs> How dare you. I mean, we're climbing so good now, you, you, even my ears are popping. Now it's 22 degrees. <laughs> 22 and beautiful, though. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, guys. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. something else man every 23 degrees now 23 and me man Gave me some 
some some uh, some grape Gatorade, some purple drink. Just for shoots and schmoots, just let me set this phone up here for a sec so I can have a sip of my purple drink. 17 degrees. Maybe we'll sit here for 60 seconds in this little shady part and see what my car does. Oh, that is an ice cold Gatorade. That is yummy. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Let's get down to 16 real quick. Come on, baby. Oh, that was good. That was terrific. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Cause you are beautiful in every single way. Check my phone real quick. Give us some time to get down to 16. All right, we're good. Again, we're at 8,443 feet. As you can see, it says chain require right there. Chain require. plugged in properly so we don't lose you guys so close 
to single digits out there, guys. I mean, we were so close. Got to keep an eye on my rear view because we're going to let everybody pass when they need to pass. But again, some, some, some of these views are just going to be remarkable. You guys are going to love them. I'm going to drop my gear here. God, it's so nice to not be right in the sun. Most of the drive so far, we've been right in the sun. subscribe for me guys I drive in dangerous situations and I do a lot of this for you guys because I love you guys and I want you guys to see how beautiful this place is and the more beauty that I can provide for you guys the more you guys are gonna come up here and usually that entails you guys coming up here and spending your hard-earned money and supporting our town and we could really use that so I hope these videos really do help you guys with wanting to come up here. Especially looking down 8,000 feet to the desert down there is pretty crazy. Maybe about 6,000 feet because it is the high desert, but I know you can see some parts of the high desert which are lower in elevation. Remember, we were just at about 8,500 feet at the very bottom of our mountain, where the desert meets the mountain, it's about 3,000 feet. So, we're probably looking down at the highest point from here, maybe 6,000 feet straight ahead. Which is still just amazing. Not that much snow over here. Again, Onyx Summit, even though it's much higher in elevation, where it's located on this mountain range, it's a very hit and miss area. Sometimes they can get absolutely demolished with snow, and other times, as, as you can see, there's just not much snow over here. Oh my gosh, like I just, I, I wish I had a driver so I could for once enjoy these these views that I never get to enjoy. I never get to enjoy this stuff, you guys. And whenever I do have the, that opportunity, like for my wife to drive, I'll, I'll never let her because I don't feel comfortable with people driving me in these conditions. So unfortunately I'm missing out on a lot and it's, it's quite a bummer. But I keep on checking the rear view mirror. There's nothing behind us, so that's one big thing off of my stress layer. Oh, there's someone. He's way back there, but he'll be coming up quickly. And we will let him by as soon as he gets here.
to 22 degrees. I hope that guy doesn't catch up too quickly while we're on the steep down slope because again guys I don't like being that guy I don't like holding people up I don't like being that person in the grocery store who's counting like 300 pennies out and stuff like of course we got to do what we, we got to do but I don't like holding people up I get very much into that people pleaser mentality always putting myself second as if my experience isn't as important as the guy behind me you know I need to get over that stuff. It's good to good to be courteous, but I'm courteous to to a fault. All right, where is this guy? Where is this guy?
think we're gonna take Moon Loaf, you guys, which is pretty dangerous right now, but Moon Loaf is what connects Upper Moon Ridge to Sugar Loaf. So we're gonna drive all the way through Sugar Loaf to hit Upper Moon Ridge. Now it's 17 degrees. Um, but part of this off-road experience that we're about to uh, go on is very dangerous. And instead of taking Big Bear Boulevard all the way home, we're just gonna take this uh, special route back up to 18 degrees. Let me crack my window now, see if, it, if, if it'll be... Oh, shoot. You guys see? That didn't sound good, did it? Holy smokes. Thank goodness the motor's still running on on my uh, window. That's amazing. I knew I shouldn't have done that. We got away with it, though. Definitely not going to do that to the other windows. I'm going to lock my other windows just to just in case, you know. Take another sip of my purple drink. Purple drink. proper equipment it's a really fun fun little road but as I said it does have its dangers that come with it so you got to be extra cautious I'll let you know once we get to that point where we're at Moon Loaf. today that's amazing but again that huge drastic change from what it is now in the mid teens is because of the sun's angle so that radiational heating is, is going to add a lot of degrees of warmth All right, here's Maple. Instead of going right down to Big Bear Boulevard, we're going left. Woo! Just gotta let my wife know I'm taking Moon Loaf just in case I have any issues. Hey, I'm gonna take Moon Loaf back home for the last part of the drive. Just in case I don't get good phone service over there and something happens, you know where I'm at. I love you, babe. I hope you're sleeping well. Okay. Barton Road now. We're turning right on Barton. This is Callan's Restaurant. Callan's Bar and Grill on the left there. I tend to kind of stay away from uh, from most of the 
bars and stuff like that around here. Around here meaning Big Bear. June 23rd, I'll be celebrating 11 years without a sip of alcohol. I can't believe that, man. June 23rd. This side of town, it'll be clear just like this, but then my side of town, cloudy and beautiful. These blue sky days I get sick of because we get over 300 days of blue skies every year in this area. More than 300 blue sky days, sunny days I should say. Okay, the closer we get to this area, the more nervous I get always, so we just gotta be extra cautious. Here we go. This is Inyo Avenue, I-N-Y-O. Clearly nobody's gone to the right, but we're gonna go to the left and start going down into this shortcut, scary off-road route. Again, the things I do for you guys, because I love you guys. Whew. Okay, four by four only. We're gonna drop our gears here. Okay. I could use uh, X mode, but I'm, I'm not going to. Uh-oh. Already having issues, I can't believe it. And why did I decide to do this? Oh, come on, Nick. telling you guys if you guys could feel what my stomach feels like right now I like want to be sick all right here we go you guys ready for this we're gonna well there's a stream flowing right here and here we go up this huge hill to the left this is the hard, second hardest part or maybe the first hardest part. What we just went through is not fun either. But if we make any mistakes, this road will push you over to the right like it's doing right now. Oh my God. Come on, baby. Come on. wanted to happen here oh no uh oh oh shit I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it there's there's someone behind us this was not smart oh god oh god I'm freaking out Let me see if I can. Nope, not a chance. I feel bad for the guy back of me. Oh no.
happening. Oh no. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh my gosh, guys, this is scary. I feel bad for this guy behind me, though. At least we tried, guys, at least we tried. It's, it's not over yet. Holy smokes. Guys, we started literally sliding backwards to that edge. Oh my god. We still got a huge cliff to the right of us. Guys, that was so scary. We're almost back to the bottom. Holy smokes. I knew that was gonna be a rough, a rough strip, man. Am I gonna be good over here? Usually I always make it. I follow you. Thanks, dude. <laughs> now I'm embarrassed, bro. <laughs> dude, I always make this. Like it's 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 real, it's real bad right there. It's it's. Yeah, dude. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna watch you guys. I'm gonna cheer you guys on right now. <laughs> All right, guys, take care. So those guys watch and follow us, and I am like, oh great. Super embarrassed about that. And now we're stuck right here. But I want to see them get up. Come on, guys. You guys got this. Can you guys see them? Looks like they handled that like a champ. Wow, that's embarrassing, you guys. But I am so glad that we made it back down. Oh, look at this stream. At least we got to see a nice little stream. Did they make it? I'm looking through my side mirror. Yeah, they did. Unbelievable, but we're gonna have to get some good speed going up here or else we're gonna get stuck again I can't believe that I, I feel like such a coward right now. I did the best I could my car just wouldn't go forward anymore I have to be honest. I think a lot of it has to do with uh, Let me let me get out and show you guys when we get to the stop sign up here Because I'm not getting any play in with my suspension because of what I'm about to get out and show you guys hang on that's cool that that guy's like hey I follow you man that makes me feel good but look what I was telling you guys about what's in, in between my uh, tires and stuff look it's just it's all rubbing on that side just everywhere this side, not as bad, but we still got a bunch of rubbing going on. The back is horrible. Look at that. Look at that. There's no space. So that, I guarantee you, played a huge role in 
my issue. Oh my gosh, that was horrible, guys. I can't, I can't believe that. What an embarrassment. I hope no one unsubscribes because of that. <laughs> what a joke. What a pathetic joke I am. But funny enough, I feel like I got some new life breathed into me because I, I survived. At one point, guys, we, we started going backwards. I couldn't control it. And it started going backwards towards the cliff. it because I was non-stop thinking about it and worried about it whoa talk about slick right there holy slickness we're not gonna take maple down we're gonna take Baldwin down like just like we came up unbelievable such a beep how'd you let that happen because you're a beep again I tried though I tried I gave it some good effort if if I was going faster we would have had a better chance but again like going faster you're at the mercy of the slope also so it's like either way I was ooze scraped uh oh They had a big, huge truck, too. So their clearance wasn't any any issue, and it didn't look like they had all that snow in, in between their tires as well. But again, super cool that first thing the dude says is that he follows the channel, which is just makes me feel really, really good. They seem like nice folks. 
type that I love on this channel are the, the extra nice people, which is pretty much all of you guys. Back to Highway 38, let's do this. Get a little loose there, sweet. I was this guy in front of us I would have already pulled over to let the faster traffic by scary steep route it doesn't look too bad but it does get mighty icy right there that's maple there have been a, a few videos showing cars sliding all the way down this slope
this is two lanes right here, so we're gonna continue to make it. It's two lanes. This guy made me feel so at home when I first moved up here and I was so lonely. He made me feel so comfortable. And uh, he's just the nicest guy and everything at his shop is super fairly priced for being up here. So his main shop is coming up here on the right hand side. It's called Big Bear Smoke and Vape. You see this big green sign right here, Bear Smoke Shop. It's the, basically the whole bottom floor of this building, and he's got a cool van, that green van, Big Bear Smoking Babe. So show them some support, guys. They are deserving, very loving, kind people. who walk on the side of the road facing that way where they can't see if you're going to slide into them or not. If you're going to walk on the street, guys, I always suggest that you walk facing traffic just so you can make a move. But yeah, I just, it's, it boggles my mind to see how clueless some people can really be, you know? I mean, these are some super slick roads out here. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. So it frustrates me when, like, People are so dumb like that. Alright, we're coming up to Dead Man's Curve. where you can pay to go sledding. It's called Big Bear Snowplay. 
I think it's about 45 bucks to go sledding. But you get an all day pass. So I guess if you go from the point they open and stay as long as you can, it's, it's worth it. And another great part is that your kids won't get tired because there is a motorized walkway that'll pull them up to the top every time as soon as they're at the bottom just so you can get a lot more runs in without wasting a bunch of energy. because of the super cold air rolling over our warm lake waters. That's just so pretty. Oh, so pretty. drive down Stanfield Cutoff because we didn't do that today, just to take a look at this beautiful view. I am excited to see this. Here we go. Wow, sis. Wow. We've got a little bit over here just just some steam rising up but nothing like that that is incredible that is epically beautiful guys anyway guys that's the aftermath i hope you guys enjoyed it again sorry for some of my failures today i tried i did the best i could um, we didn't want to push it too much or we could have been in a really bad spot. Um, another reason why I didn't push it, I'll explain to you guys in two weeks. Um, but yeah, I love you guys a lot. We're going to make a U-turn here, head back into where we need to go. And yeah, please hit that like and subscribe button. Show me some love and support. I'd appreciate it. I do put myself in precarious, rough situations. I work my butt off. I invest a lot of time and effort and money into this channel. Um, so yeah, I'd appreciate extra love and support. Once again, by hitting that like and subscribe button down below. Um, if you have any questions about anything, don't hesitate to ask. I'm always going to be here for you guys to help in any way possible. Thanks again for everything. Get your buns up here, you guys. Enjoy the blue skies with the sun over here or the dark gray clouds over here just hovering above the lake. But come enjoy it all. This town is looking forward to hosting you. Again, I love you very much. Thank you for everything. And uh, yeah, it's April 6, 2024 in beautiful Big Bear Lake. That was the aftermath of potentially the last big storm of the season. Until next time, you guys. I will talk to you later. I will do a video in two days to show how much snow is, is, is left from this storm. Okay, guys? So I'll talk to you soon. Peace out. I love you all. Bye.